The Galaxy S21 rumors have been picking up steam for a while now, and it's got to the point where you think you know almost everything there is to know about Samsung's next flagship range, but not so fast. We've discovered another interesting feature that a lot of you surely going to find helpful. You see for now we have three ways of securely unlocking a Galaxy smartphone. Those are the fingerprint scanner, face unlock, and via a pattern or pin or a password. But with the Galaxy S21 Samsung is going to add a voice activated biometric unlocking option. That's right, you don't even need to touch your phone you can unlock it just with your voice. Sam Abile is reporting that the Galaxy S21 will launch with One UI 3.1 and it's going to bring a plethora of new features. One of them will be the option to use Bixby Voice as a biometric method for unlocking the device. Now if it sounds familiar then you're absolutely right. The Galaxy S8 had a Bixby voice unlocking option, where you can set a voice password for hands-free device unlocking, but Samsung removed it for some reason. But good to know it's coming back. Now we don't know whether the S21 will have the same voice unlocking method as on the Galaxy S8, or it's going to be better. We'll know soon enough, but you need to be aware that voice unlocking is similar to face unlocking on Samsung phones meaning they are not as secure like the fingerprint scanner as anyone with a recording of your voice may be able to unlock the phone, or if a person sounds similar to you then he or she can unlock the phone. But we'll see how it goes what kind of security Samsung has built into it to make sure it can't be fooled easily. That being said, we have more case renders to give us another glimpse of the Galaxy S21. As you can see, even though the phone has a wrap around camera the case wraps around the frame and has circular cutouts for the camera sensors. Anyway, we have more reports straight out of South Korea saying that Samsung is taking a cautious approach with the production of the Galaxy S21 Trio. They have reportedly ordered an initial batch of 6 million units to have at launch day. Analysts believe that 6 million units show that Samsung isn't confident with the Galaxy S21 Lenoop, even though the figures are about the same as previous years. It seems Samsung is playing it safe considering we are still in the pandemic, and there's no way to tell whether or not people are ready to shell around $1,000 for these devices. The pre-order period should give them a good idea if the demand is as usual or has fallen off. With that said, the Korean report also mentions that the Galaxy Z Flip 3 won't be launched at the S21 Unpacked event in January. In fact, it says Samsung has no plans to launch it in the first quarter. So that means April would be the earliest we can expect the Z Flip 3. Ice Universe mentions on Weibo that the Z Flip 3 will get a 120Hz refresh rate display. This comes as absolutely no surprise given that Samsung put that faster refresh rate in most of their flagships. He also mentions that the price will be lower compared to the original Z Flip which was launched at $1,380. Also mentioned in the report is that Samsung has at least three types of foldables coming in the new year. Presumably, that means we're getting the Flip 3, Fold 3, and the rumored Fold Fan. Of course with that being said, let me know what do you think about this down in the comments, and as always I'll see you tomorrow, peace out.